Greetings everyone, and welcome to my Python course. Now it's your turn to use Python's magic. Our approach is to provide a comprehensive and enjoyable learning experience by breaking down the journey into multiple videos, each focusing on a specific concept. This approach allows for a deep understanding of each topic without feeling overwhelmed. Imagine learning to build a complex structure. Would you prefer trying to construct the entire thing at once, or would you rather piece it together step by step? Our video by video approach is like building a strong foundation first. Now let's get started. Let's begin by talking about variables. In this segment we will learn how to create variables, give them names and assign values to them. It's like giving names to your data, so you can easily work with it later. For example, let's create a variable called name and assign its value to Sara. Name equal Sara. In order to execute this code, we have to press Shift Enter. Then we create another variable, let's call it age and we assign its value to 25. In this example, we are introducing the concept of variables in Python. Think of variables as labeled boxes or containers that can hold different types of information. In this case, we have two variables, name and age. The name equals Sarah. Here you are creating a variable named name and assigning the value to Sarah. Essentially, we have put the name Sarah inside the box labeled name. Now, whenever we refer to the variable name, Python knows that it represents the text Sara and age equal 25. Similarly, we creating another variable named age and giving its value to 25. It's like putting the number 25 inside the box labeled age. So whenever we use the variable age, Python understands that it represents the number 25. Let's talk about the print function in order to make it clear and easy to understand. The print function in Python, it's like talking to the computer and asking it to show something on the screen. It's a fundamental way to communicate with the users and provide output from your programs. For example, let's print the name. Print. We write print and then parentheses and then write the name that we assigned its values to Sarah. And now in order to execute that code, we have to press Shift Enter. And here we have it, Sarah. So when we ask our computer to print the variable name, it gives the value Sarah. Let's try to print the age and see what's happened. Print age. And now Shift Enter is 25 because we assign the age equal to 25. The print function in Python is a built-in function in Python. Built-in function in programming refers to functions that is provided by the programming language itself as part of its standard library. These functions are predefined and readily available for use without requiring you to write their code from scratch. Print function is one of the most commonly used functions for displaying outputs to the console or terminal. It's like telling the computer, hey, show this to the user. Now let's try to print other words. For example, print 40. It gives us 40. In order to print a text in Python, same as we did with Sarah, we have to put the text between two quotations either single quotations or double quotations. So for example, let's print Hello world. We get hello world. We can print other text. Print by name is by informatics. And here we have it, my name is Bioinformatics. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If yes, then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, 
hit the like button, share the video, and leave your comment under the comment section. Until next time, happy analyzing.